Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. This is Dr. Sana Khan with the General Surgery Course. So today, uh, the topic uh, we are going to discuss is about different kind of the testicular conditions, um, their presentations, uh, how you're going to make the diagnosis for that, and how you're going to treat those conditions. Plus, we're also going to discuss about some kinds of the uh, varicose cells and the hydro cells and their presentation. So first of all, in today's lecture, we'll be talking about the anatomy of the testes, like the composition, uh, seminiferous tubules, which are within the testes, and then obviously uh, the anatomy of the epididymis and the vas deferens, location of the testes, and uh, their relationship to the abdominal cavity, their relationship to the Inguana Canal, and obviously uh, in the um, uh, anatomy part of the testes, we're also going to discuss about the blood supply, the lymphatic drainage, um, and obviously the blood supply of the testes. And uh, the important thing uh, about today's lecture is we're going to discuss about the different pathological conditions uh, which are found in the testes, like the most, most, most common presentation uh, with the testicular condition is the undescended testes or incompletely Descended testes. For, in this particular lecture, we'll be discussing about the causes, the pathology for the undescended testes, a uh, little bit of the embryological uh, evidence for the undescended testes, the relationship to the abdominal cavity, and obviously the surgical options we have available with us for the undescended testes. Uh, then this particular lecture, we'll be talking about the injuries to the testes, uh, the kind of the uh, trauma uh, uh, which is being, uh, uh, which is being uh, uh, the, uh, leading to the different kind of the injuries to the testes, like the there can be sacrotal injury, there can be testicular rupture, and there can be sacrotal hematoma or the hematocele. Uh, we will be discussing the presentation, uh, the uh, surgical options we have available for uh, for the testicular injuries with us. Then there's another entity which is about the absent testes and how you're going to differentiate between a uh, true agenesis of the testes and a false agenesis, like initially uh, the development of the uh, testes uh, is normal, but after the birth, because of the uh, limited blood supply or the deficiency of the uh, blood supply that, lead, uh, that will lead to the necrosis and the death of the testes, that will lead to the absent testes. Uh, then the important surgical emergency is the torsion of the testes, which is quite painful and the viability time for the, the testes is six hours and immediate surgical exploration is needed. We'll be talking about this in detail. Then uh, we will also be talking about the Rico cell, and because we know that the different kind of the testicle veins they combine and they form the pampiniform plexus, and this pampiniform plexus is in the spermatic card, one of the content of the spermatic card. So uh, the dilatation of these. Uh, uh, these uh, um, uh, pampiniform plexus leading to the varicose seal, it can be an, um, the, the most important, most usual cause for that is the incompetent wall or the uh, absence of the uh, valves within the pampiniform plexus. And the other secondary cause can be because of the tumor in the adult. Uh, we'll be talking about the presentation, how you're going to differentiate the varicose cell from hydrocell and the inguinal hernia as well, and what treatment options we have available with us. Then we will be talking about the hydrocell, which is a very common presentation, and hydrocell um, is basically the primary hydrocell and a secondary hydrocell. And if we talk about the primary hydrocell, there can be Congen congenital hydrocell, there can be patent process of vaginalis, there can be insisted hydrocell of the cord, and uh, there can be hydrocell in adults, secondarily to the torsion, epididymal orchitis, or hernia. So how are you going to differentiate a varicose cell from a hydrocell and then in the wild hernia, we'll be discussing that. And in the end, we'll be talking about uh, some important and unique characteristics like the filarial hydrocell and the chylocells, secondarily to the infection of the Vicharia uh, 
uh, Bancroft tie. We'll be ta talking about the uh, treatment uh, strategies available uh, with us. So there are other thousands of the medical lectures available on our site, that is cardia.com. You can go there, get access, and enjoy our lectures. For the detailed lecture, keep watching cardia.com. Thank you.